she's smart she's very intelligent she's very respectful she's like a daughter to me you know she's very close to me Today I'm going to be diving into the devastating case of Melissa Jubain, a 32-year-old nurse from Beaverton, Oregon, whose life was tragically cut short only a few days after marrying her husband. This story is very devastating and heartbreaking and it left Melissa's community in shock. And her story also serves a reminder that even those who seem to live a peaceful life in a safe neighborhood can still be victims of random attacks. Before I get into the details of the story, please stop and take a moment to like this video video it literally takes one second and also subscribe if you want to be informed about all future videos okay let's talk about it so who was melissa jubain melissa was born on july 12th 1992 and was raised in a loving family from a young age she was known for her kindness ambition and radiant personality growing up melissa had a passion for helping people which led her to pursue a career in nursing she was a natural in this field because of her compassionate nature melissa's loved ones described her as a very positive person who always wanted to help out in any way that she could her smile was infectious and her genuine empathy for others made her stand out in the nursing profession. She was a very helpful person. She loved helping people. She had a really big heart. It was said that she was always involved in her community, both professionally and personally, and she always strived to make a positive impact. Melissa was in a 10-year loving relationship with Brian Gentero, and they both lived in different states because of work. Melissa lived in Oregon and Brian lived in Washington State, and they both had plans to get married and for Melissa to move to Washington, find a job there, and finally be with Brian. So in August 2024, literally two months ago, Melissa and Brian finally got married and had their beautiful ceremony in Hawaii. Their wedding photos showed how happy they were and Melissa looked beautiful in her white dress surrounded by all her friends and family. This was supposed to be the beginning of their lifelong journey together, but just a few weeks later, everything changed. On September 6, 2024, Melissa didn't show up for her scheduled shift at Providence St. Vincent Medical Center, where she had been working as a nurse. This was very unusual for Melissa because she was very dedicated and punctual. And what made people even more worried was that she didn't even call or text that she wasn't going to come in. She just simply vanished. Her co-workers became concerned right away, so they contacted her friends and family who quickly called police and they reported her missing. The search for Melissa began immediately, but on top of that, her friends and family and colleagues got together and helped search for her. I watched various interviews of people in the neighborhood who either knew Melissa and there's also people who didn't know her and they came out to search for her. These people who didn't know Melissa personally heard about her through a friend or a neighbor and they wanted to come out and support because they were touched by her story. It was also said that some people skipped work, some were helping before they went into work, and some people were helping after they came back from work, and this just goes to show how much Melissa was loved. Melissa lived in Beaverton in a small five-story apartment building, and everyone says that it's a pretty safe area overall. This apartment complex was located behind a Costco where everyone in that neighborhood went to, and it was also close to to a wooded area. Things like this don't happen in this neighborhood, so people were really concerned and shocked when they found out that this woman went missing. Authorities first checked Melissa's apartment and they found that her car was still in the driveway, which meant that on the morning of September 6th, she didn't even make it to her car to go to work. The last place Melissa was known to be in was her apartment, which led police to focus on searching in her neighborhood. And it wasn't long before before a new lead came up and they started putting their focus into this man named Bryce Jonathan Sherber. But who was Bryce Sherber and why did he target Melissa? Bryce was a 27 year old former nurse who lived just a few doors down from Melissa. He had a seemingly normal life, nothing about him raised any red flags to those who knew him. But 
As investigators dug deeper, they began to piece together a darker picture of his personality and behavior. People close to Bryce began telling investigators that he was struggling with personal issues. He had recently lost his nursing job due to inappropriate behavior at work, and there were whispers that he was isolating himself more and more. People who know Bryce described him as introverted and a quiet person, but no one would have guessed the extent of what was going on in his mind. There were no clear or obvious signs that would make people believe that he was a danger to society. And I feel like in a lot of cases, this is very common. It's usually the people that you least expect it from that are committing the most heinous crimes. On September 8th, 2024, just two days after Melissa went missing, police received a tip that led them back to Bryce's property. And what they discovered would send chills to the entire community. Melissa's remains were found hidden near his home and she had been brutally murdered. The specific details of what happened to Melissa have not been revealed yet, but they had a good idea that Bryce was involved and so he was immediately arrested and was taken into custody. Now, even though they didn't release information or details about what exactly happened, the evidence points that there was a struggle between Melissa and Bryce. Bryce was charged with multiple offenses, including second degree murder. He was also charged with first degree kidnapping and second degree abuse of a corpse was added on later. It's still very unclear whether there was any other connection between Bryce and Melissa besides them just being neighbors. But I feel like people forget that in order for something like this to happen, the victim doesn't always have to have some sort of relationship with the perpetrator. A lot of times it's just a random attack that has absolutely nothing to do with the victim. Now, during Bryce's initial hearing, he pled not guilty to all charges which made Melissa's family very upset and still searching for answers. They couldn't believe that this young woman who they loved very much and who just got married and was starting a new life was taken from them for absolutely no reason. But as the investigation continued, authorities uncovered more disturbing details about Bryce and his life. They found evidence that Bryce might have been fixated on Melissa for months. There was evidence suggesting that he might have been obsessing over Melissa for months. And I mean, they did live on the same floor. Perhaps he was seeing Melissa come in and out of her apartment and maybe he wanted to pursue something with her but she wasn't interested. I don't know, I'm just speculating. The evidence also suggests that his anger and resentment with what was going on in his personal life led to the senseless attack on Melissa. It's been said that Bryce had been spiraling and unfortunately, Melissa became his main target. Melissa's family, especially Brian, who has been with Melissa for over 10 years and recently got married to her, are extremely devastated by her loss. Brian now faces the rest of his life without the woman that he planned to be with forever. So many people have responded to Melissa's case and have came out to hold vigils in her honor. But not only that, on September 11th, over 100 nurses and community members gathered to remember Melissa and celebrate her life. The amount of support has been overwhelming, but in a good way for her family. And a lot of people are now calling for more awareness and safety measures within all neighborhoods. Also, in response, the medical center where Melissa worked is now planning to establish a nursing scholarship in her name. They want to make sure that her legacy lives on in the field that she he was very passionate about. As for Bryce, although he was arrested, the investigation is still going on and investigators are trying to understand the connection between Melissa and Bryce. Bryce was indicted on September 17th and his preliminary hearing took place the day before. Her friends and family have vowed to keep her memory alive and now they're advocating for greater community safety and mental health awareness to prevent future tragedies like this from happening again. They also hope that through Melissa's story, others can learn and recognize the warning signs. This story happened recently and I haven't really seen many people cover it, so that's why I wanted to talk about it. I know that the full details regarding what exactly happened to Melissa have not been revealed to the public yet, but if anything else does come out, I'll make sure to cover it. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be notified about all my other future videos, make sure to subscribe. And if you guys want to see more of me, make sure to follow me on my other social medias. They'll be right here. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay safe. Bye.